Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Turkey. So today I'm filming obviously in a different location. This is actually Bornova behind me. So it's a really big area in Izmir. I just thought that I would film here today, something different. So a couple of weeks ago on Instagram, I asked you guys to send me some Q&A questions and I just thought today I would answer them. Also, sorry if uh, you can't hear me very well. I had a little mic problem, so I'm hoping to fix that soon. Okay guys, the first question is, how and when did you become a vegan? So I became a vegan in 2014. Yeah, 2014, so that was six years ago. But I was a vegetarian for 10 years before that, so it was kind of like a slower transition, I guess. I didn't become a vegan overnight. You guys want me to make a video about veganism or being a vegan in Turkey, just let me know because I do get a lot of questions about that. Next question is, is it hard to be in a relationship with someone foreign to you? So, uh, good question actually, that's a good question. Yes and no. Sometimes it's hard to be in a relationship with someone from a different culture because you both have your own really different beliefs about how something should be like even something so small as like cleaning or cooking like or even like cutting onions like that's that's a really big <laughs> that can cause a really big fight something as simple as cutting onions like i think it should be big he thinks it should be small anyway so no it's not like a huge deal breaker but yeah there can be some like obvious differences what do you think about Turkish sense of humor? Are there anything you laugh at? So to be honest, like my Turkish isn't good enough to really understand a lot of jokes, but yeah, sometimes I understand it and I think it's kind of like a silly humor from what I understood, but I think though at the end of the day, I still prefer American humor just because American humor is really like sarcastic and witty and it's in all the, you know, popular TV shows. So I don't know, I think I still prefer American humor, but it's probably just because I don't understand the Turkish humor very well. Can you show us a pic about your real hair color? Um, yeah, so eh, I'm really sweaty today, so my hair's kind of dark. Um, I put some color on my eyebrows, so they're a bit darker, but usually I don't put makeup on my eyebrows. So if you guys see a picture of my eyebrows, probably that's my natural color. But yeah, this is obviously not my natural color. <laughs> Why did you live in Hatay? Okay, I lived in Hatay, but the Hatay in Izmir, not the Hatay like the Antakya Hatay. A lot of people confuse that. So until, until March, I was living in the Izmir Hatay, but then there I, I had some like, I had some problems with my roommate and it was just like, no, so I left and now I'm in Bornova, as you can see. What do you like most about Izmir? Oh, that's such a sweet question. Yeah, I love a lot. I, I love so much. I don't know. I love the seaside. I love, it just, it just has such a cool energy. And I don't know, just when you walk the streets, especially like Alsanjak, Karsheka, Göztepe, you just feel this kind of energy, this aliveness. So yeah, I think Izmir is cool. Izmir is really cool. I love Izmir. Have you faced it? Have yeah, they're doing the call to prayer. I hope you guys can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Have you faced discrimination in Turkey? Um, honestly, I guess I can't complain. Really, I haven't. I'm sure that other people have faced much, much worse discrimination. But maybe people stereotype. They think that because I'm kind of blonde and like a young woman that I'm maybe more promiscuous and that's kind of a stereotype but I don't know if it's discrimination so in Izmir I would say no but if I went to other cities maybe yes I don't know I don't know I don't know what are you thinking about marrying a Turkish guy I, I could marry any guy it's not important where they're from um, to be honest you guys marriage isn't that important to me. I'm not one of those girls who has a dream wedding. I would hate to have a wedding. That sounds like a nightmare to me. If I did marry, I would just want to elope and yeah, but 
me. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. How your family allowed you to move to another country? Okay, I think for someone who grew up in like a Turkish family, it seems weird that they would, like my family would let me move. But I grew up in an American family, so you have to remember that. That like in, a, in an American family, like when we're 18, our family's like, uh, bye, g get out, see you. So my family had no problem with me going. Is there any place you want to see but you haven't seen yet in Turkey? That's a really good question. There's so many places. I want to see Karadeniz. I want to see Pamukkale. I'm so lazy. Pamukkale isn't even that far and I haven't, I've never seen it. I want to see Göbekli Tepe. I want to see so many places. Cappadocia. I haven't seen Cappadocia. I'm such a lazy tourist, like I just, I don't leave Izmir if I don't have to. Oh my god, so this was the most asked question, you guys. This, like, I got so many questions asking me, like, the same thing as this. Do you think you'll stay in Turkey the rest of your life? Are you planning to return to USA permanently one day? I, I am not a planner. I really, I don't make plans in general so I don't have a plan for my life a year from now. Uh, I'm not planning on leaving Turkey, but yeah, I could definitely see myself, you know, living in another country for a while. I don't know, like maybe moving to Europe or I don't know. I don't know, you guys, what are you thinking? Everyone's trying to leave Turkey, I know, but the whole world isn't doing that great right now, so I don't know. So yeah, I don't have a plan to leave Turkey, but like if something comes up, I could potentially go. Like, I love adventures. Do you miss the US and do you think you will ever go back? So again, that's kind of a similar question, but I mean, mm, I actually had a plane ticket for June to go visit my family. Um, I was all ready to go. My sister is pregnant. She's gonna have a baby in September. I was really hoping to visit. I haven't seen them in a year. And unfortunately, because of coronavirus, I wasn't able to go. I miss some stuff, but I don't miss it enough that I would want to move back. I think a lot of people who live abroad say that, like they don't miss home as much as they think they would. I don't know, like I miss, I miss some shopping too. I miss like Target and Trader Joe's and like Blueberry Mount Katahdin coffee. And yeah, I miss some stuff, but. Have you ever regretted moving here? No. Do you earn your living only from YouTube? If you wanna earn a living from YouTube, you definitely can do it, but it takes a lot of work. You've got to make a lot of videos. Um, you've got to make sure that you've got the algorithm on your side. You've got to make sure about your audience. To be honest, it's a lot more stressful than you think. Like it's a lot, it's a lot of pressure. So uh, no, I don't earn all my money from YouTube. YouTube is just a hobby, you guys. At the end of the day, YouTube is, YouTube is just a hobby. Like it's not for the money at all. How old are you? Okay, so I'm 30. I think I've answered that before, but I am 30 years old. I was born in 1990. Oh, we have a Turkish question. Hang on. Chelsea, en sevdiğin Türk yemekleri hangisi? I like taze fasulye. I like çiğ köfte. I like sarma, dolma. Yeah, anything vegan except bamya. I don't know, not bamya, not bamya. Anything but bamya, I like. How long did it take you to adjust to Turkey's climate? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, first of all, I don't think I did adjust to Turkey's climate because it is so hot and I hate Turkish summers. Like it's so hot, it's so sweaty. So personally, I don't think that I've adjusted, but yeah, it's easier for me now. Okay guys, so this will be the last question before it gets too boring tips on first moving abroad and what was your experience? That's a really good question. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but before I moved to Turkey, when I was 18, I actually moved to Switzerland for about six months. And I was an au pair in Switzerland. And that was a totally different experience. Like I was so depressed and miserable and sad and lonely in Switzerland. 
so yeah i could actually if you want let me know in the comments i can make a whole video about like my tips on moving abroad because yeah i really wish that <laughs> i wish that i had had some tips on moving abroad but my advice would be to just choose a country that you have a feeling about like i didn't have a feeling about switzerland i just kind of picked it and it did not end well for me like it was really hard but i had a really good feeling about moving to turkey and i just I followed it and it just it worked out perfectly for me so i'm really glad about that so my advice would be if you want to move abroad just first of all you're gonna have to work your way up just choose the shittiest lowest job you can work there work as hard as you can and you will slowly get higher and higher and it will get better so that's my advice you guys look it's like dark out oh my god isn't Izmir so beautiful I mean look at this you guys look at this how how can you be sad about the economy when you've got this view damn see I'm pretty lucky to live in Izmir that's awesome anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this up thank you so much for asking your questions thank you so much for watching this thank you guys so so much for all your support like honestly everyone who is stuck with me through all this YouTube journey I, I can't even tell you enough how much you guys mean to me and I'm just so lucky and so happy that I have you guys like ugh. and when this coronavirus is over I really want to have a meetup so I really hope that will happen anyway guys take care i hope that you all are well let me know how you're doing in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys